Mobster Whitey Bulger's personal items went up for auction today. Bidders, both online and in person, drove up the price for Bulger's belongings from just his past 16 years on the run. Bids went up and up for usually mundane items made famous by their owner, Whitey Bulger. John Kelly showed off his purchase. The wife wanted to come here and look at this stuff, and she's intrigued, and I'm intrigued, and that was it. He spent $4,900 for the mannequin that Bulger used to keep in his window. I liked it. It's a good cause. The money goes to the families of Bulger's victims. Stephen Davis's sister, Debbie, was murdered. He wanted to see the event for himself. I was surprised at the very first item. I paid $5,000 for that hat. $6,400 for the white bucket hat. $3,600 for a rat mug. $23,000 for Whitey's gold clatter ring with a diamond. Anything signed by Billy Bulger is worth something, and that's why they're going to spend $600 for a bunch of books. If they were not signed, they were, they're, they're five bucks. Bulger was an avid reader with a collection of war books. Dr. Jack Porter found himself outpriced, but was optimistic for what it means for the victims' families. And hopefully, they will get you know, a lot of money out of this thing. Stephen Davis will take the money, Six and a half on my right. but he'd rather have his sister back. They did for the love of my sister, Debbie. You know, it's, it's all it's been about, my, my sister. They can give me her back. They can keep everything. U.S. Marshal Service says the auction brought in $109,295. The more than $800,000 found in Bulger's apartment was already split amongst the families.